Hi, okay, this is a uh, quick uh, help for Dylan uh, RS on the um, Facebook group for the command station. Um, the fault finding bit, um, this this board is the one that would normally sit in there, so it's got your volume on-off button that way around. <laughs> yeah, so it's a dead simple board. Um, if I can get the focus right, let's see if I can do uh, target focus on this. Uh, anyway, there we go. So you've got this is the switch, the, the soft power switch on the other side. If I can get a decent close up of this, I will. Um, there we go. These two connectors, there and here, are just to hold the switch into the board. So they don't play part of the circuit we need to be interested in at the moment. It's that one and that one. So those two are for the switch. When I checked it, um, I'll see if I can do that now for you. I've just used uh, a multimeter that's got a, a noise function. I'm not sure if you can hear that, it's just beeping. It goes beep, beep, beep. And it's really difficult <laughs> for me to hold that on to there. So let's see if we can get it focused and hold it onto there. Oh, that's my meter telling me it's going to switch off. Right, so that's working again. Um, so holding the two connectors there to connect to those two front switches and then press the button. As you can see, that button doesn't seem to be working. However, let me just alter the camera slightly. And take it a bit closer, perhaps. Oops, a daisy, knocking everything off. Okay, so with that there, bring the meter more in, in so you can see the reading. With these probes, they're really sharp on the end, and sometimes you have to really um, press quite hard to get through the uh, the varnish or flux coating. So now you can see, if you press hard. It does work. So don't be fooled by that because that fooled me for a second. I thought mine wasn't working. And the next thing we'll do <coughs> is I'll set up to show you the voltages I get from inside the command station. Back in a sec. Okay, so what we'll do here is I've already taken the screws out from the back, uh, taken the, that board out. So as we open up the command station, just being careful of the ribbon, so I'm opening it back to front. But I assume you've already done this. Um, so we can zoom in a bit, perhaps, to the power supply. And so you can see the voltage. So I've got these uh, ready. What I'll do is shift the camera slightly so that I can get closer in to show you exactly where I'm pressing here. Okay, we're uh, we're back on with it. Uh, hopefully you can see this a bit clearer now. Uh, there is actually some 
uh, lettering down here you'll be able to see on yours easier that switch at the top VP 3.3 3.355 5, ground ground minus 15 plus 15 so using the two black ones either one doesn't really matter so from the bottom there that should be plus 15 mine says plus 12 uh, other one should be minus 15 the next one up mine says minus 13.36 um, you just check the other black one as well up there 4.97 4 4.97 3.3 and 9.32 the top one's a switch Uh, I'll just check, but as far as I know, that doesn't show anything. So the 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 merely volts on that. So that's it. Uh, that's the test of a a working command station. Uh, so hopefully you can at least test yours to see what kind of voltage it's putting out and compare it to a one that we know that works reasonably well. Uh, let us know how you go on. Cheers.